welcome back. This is Michelle from Michelle's Empty Nest. And today we're gonna to work in my 2022 Project Life. And I'm doing two weeks, it'll be weeks 21 and 22. So that takes us all the way back to May the 22nd through June the 4th. So this still puts me current. Um, I did not do week 21 because I only really had one photo that would have been something I would document in my project life. I had a screenshot or two, but really I just didn't even have enough stuff to pull together. So I decided to just wait and put that one photo in with week 22 and I don't have a problem at all doing that. I've done it several times and um, it just, it works out for me. So this one is going to be pretty short and simple. I've already done my journaling, so it's pretty much just getting everything in place and um, deciding if I'm gonna do any kind of embellishing or not. Um, if you've watched my other videos, I add a little bit here and there, maybe a, a heart or a, a word phrase sticker or a piece of chipboard here and there, but I don't do a lot of documenting in my project life. I tend to keep it pretty simple. So, most of the work has already been done because I have chosen my photos. I've edited them and, and got them printed out, trimmed up, ready to go. And I chose my journaling cards, my title card, which also has my week's journaling on it. And I've also grabbed what will be the backing cards for these smaller photos that I have. Is there something behind there? It feels thick. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So I pretty much wiped out um, all but a couple of cards in the May Stories by the Month kit from Allie Edwards. And um, I already started with the June because um, this, to me, it kind of looks like kiwis with spider legs or something on them. It was a um, four by six card and I just trimmed it in half because I thought the colors, you know, still went well with my title card and just kind of, I didn't have like a real main color scheme in my photos, so it worked well with those too. And as a reminder, I am trying to use up all of the cards that specifically have the month in them. So since this contains the last week of May, um, I'm putting the May Gratitudes card there and, um, and just doing that. So I'm thinking what I'm gonna do, I never did use any of these from the May Stories by the Month kit. Um, and so I was thinking I may attach a tab onto my three little smaller photos. Um, and because I was thinking, let me see, I, I, I kind of thought through which ones I might use the other day. Um, and I think I was thinking about maybe like the best or thankful or um, or I might do these three that are kind of more peachy colored. I know that's another color, but it would tie in with some of these tans in this photo of my husband and my youngest son sitting on the love seat when they were over for my youngest son's birthday. Um, so let's see. What do I have? Details, just this, and love this. Okay, so I might do what I was thinking, and hopefully I'm not gonna regret this and have to reprint my photo. Um, so that's what I was thinking, something along that line. And what I might do, I usually, um, do some tiny attachers onto the photo itself after I've adhered it down. But I think this week, since I've got these little tab labels, I'd like to have a, oh, I forgot that one is messing up on me. Let's pull out this one from scrapbook.com. Um, I wouldn't put the, um, tiny attacher staples on the label and on the photo, both. 
Um, so I'm just gonna put them on the little label there. That is way off center, but that tape is much stronger. All right, then we could do, um, I'm just gonna put details on this one, and I think I'm gonna put them all just on this right side. So there's some kind of continuity there. And I got some adhesive on my work surface here, just on that last photo. I don't wanna smear up this photo with it. Let me try to pay closer attention to where I'm rolling here. This one is shaped differently, obviously, than the Kukuyo that I typically use. And just that little bit of difference really does, um, you know, affect how you hold the, the applicator. And um, I don't know, I just find myself feeling a little bit cumbersome when I use it, but I know that over time that would go away. All right, so what I've got here, um, this picture up here is some green plums, and I posted that in my stories and talked about how much I loved them, and I just happened to ask if anyone else liked them. Did they eat them in their neck of the woods? Was it just kind of a southern thing? Because we eat green plums with salt down here, and um, I had about six or seven people message me and say they had never heard them of them, never tried them, and I was really surprised. And somebody said they didn't think they had them in the Northeast, but I don't know. I mean, I, they're just green when you pick them, and if you leave them there, they'll turn a riper color, but um, they are sour and delicious, and my mouth is watering just thinking about them. Okay, so I got that done, um, and I'll read you what I've got, because I'm that's what I was kind of going through the photos anyway, so I just put green plums, enough said there, and then my new Canon wide format uh, printer, and I am loving it, spoiler alert, it has printed so well, I am loving the photo quality, the digital papers that I've printed out, the digital elements and things like that, just gorgeous. Olin and Austin, two pieces of my heart. The first day of 30 days of June. So that was the first one I wore. It says live to craft and it's a shirt that Victoria Marie sells on her um, merch site. And then I put so grateful for my beautiful craft room slash studio. Thank you, Olin, for making it happen for me because he has purchased every single thing in here. Um, bless his heart and thank you Lord for him. And so this was just a photo from a um, an organizing hop that I took part in that I'll be doing once a month. And this was the month that we talked about workstations. So that's what that is. And then for May Gratitudes, I just wrote an awesome Mother's Day with the boys, a great 20th birthday celebration for Austin, so much beautiful sunshine, such kindness from Diane after Piper's passing. Piper's our great Dane, that was 12 and then wonderful days spent with Olin. So those are the things that I was grateful for in the um, the month of June, I mean the month of May, sorry, the month of May. And I need to put date stamps, so I'm thinking that I, I don't put week numbers or anything like that on this year's um, spreads. I did in the past. I say the 22nd, yes. So I think what I'm gonna do, since I have this space here, I think I am just going to put, oh, that's way crooked, but you know what? It's there and there's nothing I can do about it now. Oh me, or at least nothing that would be simple. So I'm just gonna go with it. I never do very well at getting these date stamps very straight. I don't know. I've practiced. I've used date stamps for years, and I just, I don't know. I struggle with them. All right. I do kind of feel like I need a piece of chipboard or something up here, and then maybe a little something on these other photos. So I'm going to turn the camera off and go see what I might be able to find, and then I'll come right back. 
All right, from the June Stories by the Month kit, oh, that one's coming out, um, that peachy color is still in this set of chipboard as well. Well, peachy pinky, but it, it kind of goes with those. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe just put, um, put a yep, just thankful. And then it's got asterisk always. And I am always so very thankful for the things that I have that are provided for me. Let me just go ahead and put those to the side. They're all falling out. And then this one just says a little moment. And I may just put it right there. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Let me see how this adhesive works on the back of this chipboard. Yeah, you know, sometimes chipboard kind of um, peels up with roller adhesive, or at least that's been my experience using the Kokuyo. Um, but I don't know if that's just the difference in the tape, the fact that the Kokuyo is a dot roller versus this one being solid. And I do have a dot roller from scrapbook.com that um, I am going to pull out and try after this one, this solid um, roll. And it looks more like a like a Tombow or now what's going on? I'm struggling with the adhesive today, guys. Oh look, I'm just putting it all over the table. Um it look I feel like I'm just talking in little spurts. I'm sorry. <laughs> this might have been better on fast forward. I wasn't as prepared as I thought I was. Um so Yeah, that'll work. Um, it looks more like a like a Tombow type adhesive roller. So it'll be a little bit more familiar to try to use it. Um, then up here, I'm not really sure what to do up there. I could just stamp Big Love. I did still have that piece left in chipboard, but it's not the right color, and that's really all I had left. Um, so let's just do the big love. Let's make a decision and move on to get my, there we go. All right. <laughs> This may end up being a hot mess of a video, guys. Sorry. I thought it was just going to be a quick little put it together. But we don't always think appropriately. <laughs> or at least I don't. Sometimes I'm way out in left field. All right. Let's see what this one's going to look like. Just on the piece of scratch paper first. And this is um, premium dye ink just in black from scrapbook.com. That works for me. So we'll go with that. I know I didn't grab out my um, little absorber cloth to dry that off with because I didn't think I was going to do any stamping. But it will be fine just like that. I'm about to pack it away into my stamp storage because I won't be using May again for a while. Okay, so that's what we're going to go with right there. That's going to be the finished product once it's in the pockets. Um, and I'll do that after I take some photos of it to post at the end and over on Instagram. 
So that's where I'm going to end the video for today. And um, if you enjoyed the video, I would love a thumbs up down below, even though it was kind of a hodgepodge hot mess. <laughs> and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would certainly appreciate you doing that as well. And let's see, I think that's about it. There'll be some links down below in the description box for the products that I use most often. So make sure you check those out. If you have any questions or just a comment, I would love to read that down below as well. And until I see you in the next video, take care of yourself, do something good for yourself, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.